Okay, today is day two of the modifications that I intend to do to my C7 Z06. Uh, we'll call this braking or brakes and suspension. Uh, we're gonna do drop spindles, adjust probably the bolts, see what kind of lowering we can get out of that combination. Uh, we're gonna do uh, sway bars, LG Motorsports sway bars, LG Motorsports um, end links. Uh, we're also gonna do new brakes front rotors it's gonna be interesting to see if i feel like the rotors are toast i wanted a fresh new set uh i didn't want to risk it and i didn't really feel like taking them off and weighing them and checking them uh because i i knew i wanted to start fresh and have a clean set this car was likely on the track a lot uh and they kind of sent me with some you know some some beat up uh hardware the front pads look okay they don't look like they've ever been uh i guess you call it burnished uh, that's what uh, that's what they call Brembo calls them for for carbon ceramics. We'll talk about that a little bit throughout this series. Uh, the rear pads look like they need to be replaced, uh, but I'm going to leave the rear rotors alone. They look okay. Uh, the fronts look like they they're probably okay, but they look like they've been they've been beaten pretty badly in heat cycle quite a bit. So we're going to get an initial measurement. Gosh, this car is so tall. It's just insane how high this thing sits. Uh, we're going to get uh, we're going to get this thing hopefully uh, set up properly, uh, at least the, the way I would want it. I, I understand that you know the Chevy engineers set it up a certain way, but I don't care. I'm going to lower the thing. Uh, I think that's I think this car will look a lot better that way. I have new wheels. Uh, I'm also likely going to try to procure a set of the original Carbon 65 wheels, so I have a complete you know car. Uh, even though I'm doing some some minor bolt-on modifications, uh, yes, I took the stickers off, uh, but uh, but I, I do want to have you know a, a generally have a carbon 65, just have my version of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the car, get an initial height measurement, and then uh, I'll come back to you, show you those results, uh, and then we'll start taking the wheels off and getting the car set up, and then we'll I'll take you through this process. This will be likely a long series of a uh, few hours worth of footage. That wheel gap is absolutely insane. So what I'm doing, uh, this is no different than if we're sitting on the ground, because the car is going to be in the same position as I'm measuring. Not exactly, but I'm looking for the center of the center cap, and I'm coming up to this, just a reference point. So that's 27 and a half. But I mean, what we're trying to eliminate is, you know, this massive wheel gap. I mean, we've got three, almost three and a quarter inches of wheel gap. We want to have like a half an inch of wheel gap in my world. We'll also get the, uh, the offset should be a little more aggressive as well on the uh, new Vossen wheels that I bought. Then when you look at the rear, I mean, the rear wheel gap is insane. Man, I understand suspension travel, but this is like worse than an SUV. I got a solid three and a half fingers, whatever that means. So we've got, yeah, again, about three and a quarter inches of wheel gap, depending on what your reference point is, about three inches of wheel gap that we're hoping to eliminate. At least some of it, for gosh sakes. So, oh yeah, I jacked with these wheels pretty good. This dude bought an eBay set of wheels just to give to me. They're not balanced or mounted properly. These tires are junk. Okay, so let's get all four wheels off. And we can start taking this thing apart. Let's see. So we had a 10 hour ordeal with the headers, which I thought it would take, I thought it would take us a few hours less, five hours. I thought it would take four, four or five hours. I mean, we had at least three different instances of things that held us up for a couple of hours. So hopefully these drop spindles come off relatively easily. Of course, these cars have bolts or not bolts, they have studs 
not bolts, and you gotta be careful with your carbon ceramics. I'm also gonna steam this like I did to my M5. Steam this once I get all this off. I'll get you some close-ups here of what this looks like and why I think we should be replacing these. They look beat. But we're gonna weigh it and see if I'm ridiculous or not. So I'm gonna take all four wheels off. So you see what I'm working with here. So we're gonna take the caliper off, take the rotor off, then I'll be able to expose the drop spindle, or the, not the drop spindle, the actual spindle. We're gonna put drop spindles, which will lower the center of gravity by an inch. I guess it moves it up into the wheel well. And, uh, and we'll deal with the sway bars as well. Sway bar comes over here. So we'll deal with that while we're up under here. And, uh, and then we'll put it all back together, do rotors, steam clean all this stuff. And yeah, this is gonna take a little while. I'm just wondering, I don't have a fork tool, so I'm wondering how hard it's gonna be if you get these things out of the ball joints, but we're, we're gonna find out. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll steam all this, clean all this up. It's nice to see everything aluminum under here. Clearly a race machine, but these things start to, it starts to shed. I'll take some pictures and grab some footage of the difference of what a new set versus these look like. This doesn't mean it's bad, but it's not a good sign. Uh, I think once they're 100 grams lighter, they have the, the weight on it. Once they're 100 grams lighter, then, they're, then they need to be replaced. That's how you know. Let me go up a little higher at the lift. If you're new here, this is a twin bush TWS3-19. Twin bush scissor lift. And I know many of you guys that your daddy told you that a two post was the way to go. I'm telling you, two posts to me. You never see any cars falling off of scissor lifts. You only see them falling off of two posts. But that's also probably because there are a lot more two posts out there. But two posts don't, I mean, I don't have any posts in the way. I don't have any, you know, any side effects. I can get all the way down the exhaust tunnel. We just did the headers and exhaust yesterday. So I haven't had any issues at all. It's nice that these are, it's like powder coated, maybe painted and, and uh, I don't think that's aluminum. It looks like stainless. That's way better than the BMWs that are, that are just a, like a cast steel hub and that rusts like crazy. All right, so let's, let's take this, turn it. <clears throat> and there are two bolts on the back. I'm not, gonna re I'm not going to remove the brake lines. Bolt, bolt. But let's pull our pad at wear indicator, just loosen that up so I have some, some room. And then what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna figure out some way to set the caliper here. So I better figure that out now. Let me find something that's tall enough for that. Got these really heavy duty gloves. Let's try these, because I keep ripping my other ones. You just have to take my word for it. There are two bolts in the back here. You, I mean, it's not rocket science. I always forget which ways, which way do I go? <laughs> Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, but when I'm backwards, backwards, yeah, down. <clears throat> I think. Let me see if I'm going this way. Yeah, down. So I am right. Let's do a regular socket here, if I have enough room. It should. Dang, that's hard. These things have probably been off a lot. <clears throat> Using uh, these are all Sonic tools. There must be some anti seize or something on this because these kind of bolts normally come right out.
SEMA this year. I'm gonna get air tools all figured out. <clears throat> I almost wanna replace these bolts, but I don't have them. Oh yeah, red Loctite, that's why. I doubt that is OE. We'll look at the service manual. You see these are supposed to be loctite like that. That's a track guy move for sure. I'm gonna have to get the big. Why does everybody have to hit the wheel on the darn caliper? They could have could have also had 18s on the car. I guess that's possible. Smaller wheels. Causing debris to get caught. I like this color of the caliper. Yeah, normally, once you break these, you can just back them out by hand. But these have a giant glob of red Loctite. So maybe these are known to back out, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna have enough room on the brake line to just sit it on that chair. If not, I'll just make a little box and put it on there. I'm really curious to see how hard these spindles are to do. There's not a photo or a video anywhere online. back in. I don't have enough room. <clears throat> Pull this wear indicator off. I can set it just like that. There we go. Sweet. So that'll be out of the way. I'm most excited to weigh the rotor. You know, someone made a really smart suggestion on the last video when I was changing out my rotors. Or no, putting spacers on to break this with an impact. Let's just use a little quarter inch impact and see if this helps snap it. Shoot. Nope. I just jacked it. I'm gonna have to tap it out now. Crap. <laughs> yep. All right, we're gonna have to drill it out. So the next one we'll try and just, luckily I bought some new ones. There we go. Now, theoretically, our carbon ceramic comes right off. So there we go. All right, let's take a look at the differences between See all the carbon bits being stripped away? I've never seen a Porsche rotor do that, but that's what happens from heating them up the track. Interesting, so there's our drop spindle. Let's check our weight. So just twist that little thing out and I bought some new ones. That might work, might not, but yeah, I wanna hang on something more permanent. Yeah, let's hang it right here, perfect. Hang it right on there, that way it won't slide off. Okay, so let's check our rotor. So the minimum weight on this one says 5.927 grams. So let's see where we're at. <laughs> I 
or 5.927 kilograms. So we're at 6.04. So we're still good. Versus, now these have, I hope I got the right part number, 49T23310, yep. But these say minimum weight 5930. So it's possible that maybe they, each one of these is different. We'll look at the other side. <laughs> Funny. That's 6.000. So, yeah, these rotors are not bad. I'm just an idiot. I don't know. You just look at them. Look at the difference between these two here. <clears throat> this one's all pitted. I just assumed that they were toast, but they're clearly not. So you can see all of the all the material being stripped out. This is all little strands of carbon coming off. So somebody wants a set of uh, carbon ceramic rotors cheap. These are still clearly good. The weight of these is actually a little higher than the weight of the new one. So let me know, I'll send them to you. Now, there are no instructions for this. So I'm gonna have to do this myself. So first I'm gonna take, first thing I'm gonna do is take the shield. I think if I just pull this, the shield will come off. Oh, there's two screws there, two bolts. Yeah, red Loctite all over these. Maybe that's something we need to do. I'll look into that. Clean that up before we put it back on. Maybe take the spindle out first. So let's pop all these, all these lines off. So we gotta take this. Looks like some sort of probably a speed sensor. So you gotta pull that out first. Let's get this off. I'm trying to learn how to breathe out of my nose in videos. So I'm not breathing in your face the whole time, but it's harder than you think. when you're a mouth breather like me. Okay, how's that? Okay, that just pops off. When we do the other side, Raz will be here and I'll get in a closer view. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a speed. Senses your speed maybe. There's a little grommet back here. You pull off this little bracket. <clears throat> pull it past the shock body. I wonder if I can turn this. I just want to get it out of here and out of the way. There we go. So we don't damage it. Okay. We'll set that over there by the, by the caliper. Yeah, I'm gonna take the hub. I think I'll be able to take the hub off afterwards. So let's just see if this, how hard it's gonna be to pull these joints out. I'm hoping, hoping it just pops right out. So let's take our impact. We'll take the front one off last. I don't think I'm gonna get this in here, nope. I'm gonna have to do this by hand. I'm gonna have to go stubby on that top one. Let's get the top one first. Is that an 18? Hopefully it's deep enough. Yeah, that's an 18. Let's see if I can get it on there. Like I said, I'll get you a better angle when we do the second one. The shock. We might have to drop the shock to get this out. So we might be moving this stuff out of the way. Now, let's take the bottom. The shock should hold this, same thing with the spring. So I don't think it's gonna drop out, but let's, uh, let's get that big, big bolt off of there. 
This is a big boy. This is like 20 something. Ah, 20. Bigger. 21. Shoot. Uh, let's put this back in here just to help it stay in place. Crap. I'm going to have to put this back on. Okay, so that's a lesson. Don't remove the steering, steering knuckle. <clears throat> These bolts aren't particularly tight, so. I don't have to worry about it too much. I could have just done this with a ratchet. I don't even need impact, I don't think. Now, that was the easy part. Now, let's see how these spindles come out. Now, does this drop out? have to drop I think I'm gonna have to detach the shock and so if we drop the shock I just don't know what happens with the leaf spring and the sway bar I'm gonna have to take this off anyway so let's see what we got here Tough luck. Well, they can come in. Yeah, I think we have to drop this arm down. Not too bad. Not too bad. Rotors aren't bad. The actual, the beat up rotors weigh more than the new rotors. <laughs> well, look at the. Uh, My 50 grams. Look at the weight relative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what's going to happen is when I drop the sway bar off, which we're going to have to take the sway bar off anyway. So we drop the sway bar end link. We detach the shock. This arm, whatever this is called, the lower control arm, will just sit. I don't think we need to do anything with the leaf spring. You shouldn't have to. I'm going to detach our leveling, light leveling kit, and then this, I think these will just drop, this will just drop out, I and I can lift up. When you have the spring on, the spring is continuously pushing down on it, you're not going to see the lower control arm move much further down like that. Well, it's going to have to, otherwise this isn't coming out. Well, the top one is going to move up, right? Yeah, so I guess you're right. Maybe I don't have to do that. So all I got to do is start hammering on it. Good point. Could probably just give it a little whack. A little whackadoo. The old whackadoo. This is where you're talking about a little fork thing here? Uh, you can get a joint separator, yeah, but you have to be careful not to mess up the, the bolt. Oh, yeah. uh, otherwise, sometimes you just whack the A arms or whack the edges, any kind of thing. We need, uh, we need some metal. These spindles aren't going back on anyway. What I need is a block of freaking wood. So theoretically, if this comes out, we're all, I'm like almost done. Um, <laughs> the rear ones have drive shafts too. Oh, shoot. It's yeah. a little bit more. It's not moving. No, it's not. It's 
We zip tied the caliper to the lower control arm. We're gonna go up with the lift and try to get the suspension loaded. See if that helps. It's an unnecessarily long and stout connection. Now, what else is this attached to? Right here. See, just like our headers, the beginning of removing basically every part off the suspension as we reinvent the wheel here. And I just drop both screws. Just spin this. Yeah, I knew I bought these for a reason. I bought these to do the uh, wheel bolts, even though it's not necessary. It's gonna just slide out nice and easy now. It is? Excellent. No. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I mangle this, that way when we're stuck, I'm screwed. I'm gonna make sure of that. Does the leaf spring, the leaf spring holds this all together. So if we drop the, if we drop the sway bar end link and drop this, the, uh, I mean, we're going to have to take the sway bar off anyway. If we drop the shock, will this, could we then just, yeah, but you're still going to have that sitting on top of the joint. The joint is still stuck right now. It's, it's not you're talking this, to... this here. Oh, that one. Well, this one, I don't know what I'm saying is if we drop this out. Then we could jump on, we could stand on this thing, you know, and drive that down. I mean, the leaf spring is not doing too much right now because nothing is loaded. So if you push that up, the other side is just gonna push up. Yeah. So it's not doing too much. Where are my bolts? How much room do I have? It looks like there's only a little bit of room. I don't think you have to do anything about the leaf spring, to be honest. No, I mean with the lowering part. I need, I need just a big old bar, a rack on this thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think it helps us to remove the hub. No, the hubs come off after. Yeah. After, after you get the... Um, yeah, I mean, I could, I could get it off, but... Yeah, but saying, I don't, do they, yeah they're not going to give us any, any kind of leverage. They're not really in the way either. Yeah, see, that's... <laughs> it's, it doesn't move at all. Yeah, it doesn't even shake. Nope, it does not. Do we need a big old pry bar from Home Depot? Yeah. Well, even then, when I mean, you don't want to whack on the aluminum control arm too right, much. Exactly. Right, exactly. Because that's staying. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. It's it funny. Just, the, it just doesn't pop. Funny, the steering knuckle popped right out. But there's what we're dealing with is a it's increasing radio. Yeah. yeah. And it's sitting in there. This one just sits. Yeah. But, but this. The whole weight of the car mm -hmm. sits on that on that spindle. Yeah, but still, a top one should pop out a little bit easier. So, I think I'm gonna have to go get some more tools. So, I think we could get a fork in here, a fork pry bar. Well, there's the ball joint separator that comes with the fork. Tighten it down, it starts popping. The only thing I've noticed is sometimes they cut the yeah, they cut the um, the rubber boot, which you don't want to do on that one. Top one, who cares? All right, back to AutoZone. Okay, I've got me a ball joint puller kit. Raz and Chelsea are working on the other side, getting the rotor and all that business off. So I've got some of these puppies, and we'll see what fits. Brand new kit. I think that's gonna be too small. Yeah. I need the wider version. Hoping we can use this to get around the. I want to be able to get around the, the stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this without pinching that. Oh boy, 
Ain't nothing happening. <clears throat> All right, so I remove the upper upper A arm. Now maybe I can knock it out. You're not. We're not helping. Uh, we're not helping my love of Corvettes here, people. I don't have these problems with my BMWs. Don't I have a bigger hammer in here? Oh yeah, that's what I need, a 24 ouncer. I put the fork on top so I wasn't hammering this. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's the easy part. Now it comes the hard part. Now, <laughs> now what? Okay, that's fun. I'm glad I had the camera roll in there because we big, big progress. Now. So that's one out of eight. Oh my gosh. Now what? So you got lots of juice in there. I gotta get some juice in here. So much for gloves, god dang it. Well, it can't go back now because I pretty much ruined this spindle. These are, that's the beauty of these two cars. I mean, if I had to buy a new one, there's a new one of these, like 180 bucks. Something like Porsche would be like four grand. Mm -hmm. Ferrari, 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet you if I went home and got like the five pound sledge, mm -hmm. we could probably do a couple of little just a little, I might take the fender out. Oh, my ears are ringing. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll let you know what works. I'm glad I can be a guinea pig for some of your future endeavors. I said, I'm glad I can be a guinea pig for some of your future endeavors here. Yeah. On my car that I don't care as much about. That's my Porsche. As frustrating as this is, this is fun. Good news, the great part about this is like, I don't need this car to go to work tomorrow, you know? Well, that's pretty stout. So there's the hub. Okay, another part off, there's nothing left but the spindle. Just the bottom part of the spindle. I'm gonna go get my five pound sledge, get some delicious lunch. Can, oh, that's cool, that's interesting. You can't even take that bolt out. Take this off. Oh yeah. It's gonna make it lighter weight. It'll make it easier to come out. There's definitely a reason why there aren't any drop spindle videos. This ain't easy, but we're gonna get it. Crap, I forgot to turn it on, I got it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, drop spindles off, no damage. All good, got it. So what I did, just hammering up. I'm gonna get that off before they get back. <laughs> Sick, all right. Show you what I'm doing here. All right, so we've got this joint here. And we got this joint here. And so what I'm gonna do is take the A-arm off the top, which is a 15, A-arm in the shims. The upper control, I guess it's the upper control arm technically. So now I'm gonna pull this out like so. We had the right kind of puller. He's got all kinds of penetrating oil on this, so we're probably good. So I'm gonna take my fork, little tuning fork, put this up here so that I'm hammering on this rather than on the control arm. And there we go. Now, 
on this bottom side. I'm gonna have to move the camera. I'm just gonna. on this to loosen up as much as possible. Now there's a tool apparently that will bring this right up, but move the camera out of the way. I'm gonna switch sides on you here. And I gotta go to town. See, now that I know how to do this, this would be so easy in comparison to what I just went through trying to figure it out. The only problem is this is the opposite hand. I need to hit it right here, but wrong hand. All right, I'm gonna have to move this camera out of the way and get in it. 